Good morning, St Luke's. Uh, if you have any experience of primary schools, then you'll know that when the Ofsted inspectors come to visit, uh, they look at a school under four different categories. Uh, they look at the quality of education, they look at behaviour and attitudes, uh, personal development, and then leadership and management. In this final section of Acts chapter 14, we find Paul and Barnabas on a whistle-stop inspection tour of various cities, towns and churches that they visited on their journey so far. And they also pop in to a few new places. As we see them on this inspection, uh, what does it show us? Well, firstly, we see uh, a quality of education. Uh, teaching is always the priority for Paul and Barnabas. See that in verses 21 and 25. The first thing that they are always looking to do uh, is to teach. Good teaching wins disciples for Jesus. It also strengthens and encourages them, we see in verse 22. To be a follower of Jesus is to be taught and to teach others. Quite simply, we never stop learning. Uh, teaching must be uh, clearly communicated and also faithful in its content. You can be taught the wrong stuff very well indeed, if that's one area. Uh, then secondly, we see behaviours and attitudes. Paul has to explain to the disciples or to the new disciples that hardships are the pathway uh, for the kingdom of God. Disciples of Jesus need to be ready uh, to suffer for his name's sake. And also they must be uh, demonstrating a surrender to God himself, shown in a commitment to prayer and to fasting. Being a Christian includes shaping and the moulding of how we think about things, both in heart and in mind, and also what we do with our lives. I'm sure Paul and Barnabas also made common sense decisions on their travels to get out of the way of oncoming traffic and other obstacles, hence our short pause there. Anyway, so being a Christian uh, is about the shaping of attitudes and behaviours as well as being well taught. Uh, and this, uh, the shaping of those attitudes and behaviours is done in a community together. That's what we see Paul and Barnabas doing. Uh, they are addressing the entire community of God. Uh, and so faith, therefore, uh, is not just about personal belief and it is not done in isolation. Uh, so we've got the quality of teaching, we've got behaviours and attitudes, then also leadership. Paul and Barnabas appoint elders in every church that they go to. Good leadership is vital to the strengthening of a healthy gathering of disciples uh, and their continuation in the faith. Uh, elders, uh, leaders must care for the disciples under their charge. They should also take a lead in teaching and organising the life of the community. So it is, I think, uh, we pause and we wonder for a moment. If Paul and Barnabas came on their journey to inspect us at St Luke's, what report would they write back? Or maybe you're watching this and you're a member of a different church in Cheltenham or beyond. How might your church report read? Might it be even uh, that you're looking for a church to join? Well, make sure you're looking for the right sort of things uh, with any new community of Christians that you bind yourself to. Paul and Barnabas return to Antioch and they report back their findings. Now, I've left one thing, one category from our Ofsted report unmentioned, personal development. Certainly, it's important that we grow and develop as individual Christians. But Paul and Barnabas don't report on personal development, rather they report on what God himself is doing. Oh, as we look forward to the point where at St Luke's we can gather together as God's people in person, uh, hearing, teaching together, uh, encouraging one another in our faith. Might it be that we passionately desire and pray for God to do great things amongst us and our world? At the end of the day, it is he who is both lead inspector and chief development officer. Let me pray for us this day. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can trace through history all of the work that you have been doing uh, in building and establishing, uh, strengthening and also at times pruning uh, your church. Uh, and we trust that you are engaged in that same task today. Uh, so for us at St Luke's, uh, would you please do a great thing amongst us? Uh, that we would see uh, your glory in the community around us. Uh, and for all that are listening this day, would we uh, in our hearts be committed and rooted in the teaching of the apostles, 
allowing the Holy Spirit to shape and mould our behaviours and attitudes, uh, rightfully respecting good and uh, good leadership within the church, uh, that we would be a vessel uh, in which your Spirit can flow and bring life. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.